All right, we made it here. To Trevi. Fountain Rome. of Trevi. Yeah, we were trying to figure out what the big deal is with this little fountain. Until we saw. We realized it's actually pretty big. It's actually like way bigger in person. Like in the pictures, it seems like this little fountain. And it's like, what's the hype about this? But when you see it in person, it's like, wow. This is really sp like spectacular. It's so big. was called the Pantheon because it means the house of many gods. However, it became a Christian church eventually. of Italian food and we're trying spaghetti. So it's funny because the spaghetti doesn't have any red sauce, right? <laughs> not this one. Yeah, not it's this one. Yeah, so this is, I guess, my first, first bite of Italian. Italian spaghetti. Let's see how it is. Search is officially over now. <laughs> so when are you moving in? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Everybody out of here.
just got out of St. John's Church right here, uh, where they just had a gathering. A lot of the military was there. And then right next door, uh, we have Scala Santa. Um, and the mother of Constantine actually had the marble from where Pontius Pilate was in Jerusalem imported over here, um, where you can climb the stairs on your knees, um, where basically Jesus suffered before Pontius Pilate. It's very humbling to think about, you know, we're, we're healthy, we just had a full breakfast, and just kneeling there less than a minute really hurt our knees, and how much more Jesus felt in terms of pain, right? Walking up those steps and knowing already, even before it happened, knowing already that he was going to die um, for us, for our sins. Behind that, we have an obelisk, which we'll show you. Uh, that was actually erected by one of the Egyptian pharaohs, and then Constantine in 357 AD uh, brought it and had it shipped over to Rome. So it's just incredible to have that kind of history here um, that we can even take a look at um, and really be a part of uh, and see um, what actually existed and part of history from Egypt to Rome um, and you know until today. same restaurant because it was so good and we're having trying authentic calzone look at the inside wow. okay We're about to go into St. Peter's Church over here that you can see. And up on top in the middle you have Jesus. And then you have uh, all the martyrs around the entire outside here. And then you have St. Paul and statues of St. Paul and St. Peter. He was actually crucified upside down at his request when they went to kill him. Um, because he said he wasn't worthy of being crucified. The same as his Lord, uh, Jesus. And it's amazing when you look at all the martyrs on top of the buildings, all of these people who died uh, for Christ's sake. They died uh, in the name of uh, Jesus. And, you know, when you really think about it, why would people kill just because someone believes in the name of Jesus? But really, that's the battle. That's the entire battle of our existence. Uh, God versus the devil. And he knows the only way to be saved is by your faith in Jesus Christ, and that's why he attacks. Um, and that's why there are so many martyrs, and there will continue to be for anyone who stands up for their faith.